Hi fellow DIYers! Welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a cable holder using faux leather. You don't need to buy an SVG file for the template because you can make it in design space. I used faux leather tote bag that I bought from Dollar Tree, but you can use any faux leather. Very easy and fast to make. And it's also a good idea for business. So let's get started! So in this project, I used shapes and images for the template. Click shapes and then click that. And then we're going to create a small hole. I'm going to click shapes again and then click circle. And then I'll change the size of the circle to 0.05. And then I'll just change the color. And then I'll place the small circle there because that's where I want the snap button to be placed. And then select all. Click align then center horizontally, and then click slice. And then I'll drag the shape. As we can see, we created a hole. So in this step, I forgot to delete this tiny circle. So you can delete this now so it's not in your way. So while the shape is still selected, click duplicate, and then align those two vertically. And while the other shape is still selected, click flip, and then click flip vertical, and just align them together and select those two shapes, click align, and then center horizontally. And while they're still selected, click weld. So I'm going to delete this tiny circle now, and then I'll change the height to four inches, and then set it aside for now. Click images, and then on the search bar, type in bunny. And this is what I chose to make. I'll put the design space image number in the description box below. Click Add to Canvas. While the image is still selected, click Ungroup. And then separate the two images. I'm going to leave the silhouette. And then this one, I'm just going to hide it for now. I'm going to click the eye icon on the Layers panel. Now it's time to create holes for the Snap button. Click Shapes. Click Circle. Then I'll change the size to 0.05. And I'm just going to change the color. Then I'll drag it to where I want the snap button to be placed. Select all, click align, then click center horizontally, and then click slice. Now we created a hole. We're going to need another hole for the snap button. So drag and place it where you want the snap button to be. So this part is going to be folded in half. So if your cable is thick and if you don't want it wrapped too tight in this cable holder, I would suggest to change the height of this image to 5 inches or more. Now select all and then click align and then click center horizontally and then click slice. Now these tiny circles from the holes, I'm going to leave one and delete the rest. So I'm going to make another cable holder. I'm going to click images. This time, I'm going to make a bear. So the bunny that we just made is in the same image set as this one. So I'm going to click those three dots and then click view image sets. And I'm just going to click the white part here. And here we have different animals to choose from. So I'm going to choose the bear. So click that and then add to canvas. So we're going to repeat this step like what we did with the bunny. So while the image is still selected, I'm going to click ungroup. And then delete that and then right click this and then send to back and then drag this tiny circle and place it to where you want the snap button to be placed and then select them and then click align and then center horizontally and then click slice now we created a hole i'm going to create another hole and drag it to where i want the snap button to be select them and then click align and then center horizontally and then click slice and just like what we did earlier i'm going to leave one circle and delete the rest now i'm going to make another animal template so i'm going to click images and we're back here in the image sets and i'm going to use the pig and click add to canvas and while the image is still selected click duplicate then remove the unnecessary layers then right click the silhouette and then click send to back. Now drag the circle to where you want the snap button to be placed and then select them and then click align and then center horizontally and then click slice and then create another hole for the snap button and then select them and then click align and then center horizontally. 
and then click slice. And now we can delete those tiny circles and we can unhide the other template by clicking the eye icon. Now I want all of them to be in the same mat. So I'm going to make their color the same and then click make it. Now I'm going to use two different colors of faux leather. So I'm going to separate them and then put the faux leather on the actual mat accordingly. And then click continue. And for the material setting, click faux leather paper thin. And then I always adjust the pressure to more. So this is the faux leather tote bag that I'm going to use. I love using this faux leather tote bag because it's cheap and it also has like a felt backing that makes it thick. Now you can't really see the holes there, but they're there. So I'm going to use this tool to poke it. Now this is the tool and the snap buttons that I'm going to use. I got this from Amazon. I put the link in the description box below. So these are what we need for the snap button. We need a stud and the socket. And of course the caps. Now insert this cap into the hole. Now grab your tool. So the flat part or the cap of the snap button goes to this side of the tool.
And there you have it! If you like this video, please hit the like button. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. All feedback is welcome and any feedback is good feedback. Please subscribe to my channel and check out my other tutorials. See you in the next episode of DIY by Sass. Thanks for watching!